Good morning. Today our demo is going to be all about cutting a log cabin quilt up. This is the quilt. It's the title of the pattern is Vintage Log Cabin and it's a, a 14 block, a 14 inch block quilt and it finishes at 84 by 84 inches. Now we normally make a kit for this and the pattern that we have is called Vintage Log Cabin. This is the pattern and the directions that we're going to show you are similar to the pattern but a little bit different because normally this is cut up into you have third yard pieces to make this particular quilt but what we decided to do we have a kit that's available right now called blue pool and it's paper piecing but i thought what if we could actually do a log cabin with the same kit for our customers who prefer to piece instead of paper piece so i cut one up sent it to an uncle of mine who quilts and this is what he created there's enough blocks you can actually do this quilt 84 by 84 and he could have made it bigger but he chose to actually make two other projects with it so one of those projects with the extra blocks he made a throw it has pins in the back so bear with me i don't want to poke myself so this is the throw it's pretty good size okay but not only was he able to do that he was also able to do a table runner. So here's the table runner. It's quite long and it's beautiful, but you could actually make a bigger quilt if you chose to do that. What I'm here to show you is how to cut these strips up. It's easy and relatively quick. It took me a while to figure it out, but got that down. I'm going to share that with you. So the very first thing you want to do is open your kit and inside you have a tower of dark blues and greens and a tower of light fabrics. There's 16 fabrics in this one and 16 in this one, they're half yards. So that's eight yards each pile, 16 yards, a lot of fabric. There's also the pattern and then the fabric for your centers because the log cabins all need a little center there, okay? So that's what's in the kit. Now to begin, you're gonna have to open both of your towers of fabric, press them all and then layer all of your lights, I've, so I've pressed these all out. They're all layered, all 16 fabrics. I have the folded edge along one side and all the salvages on the other. Do that for both the dark and the light. Now, I'm not actually going to cut this one up. I'm going to move it. And we're going to pretend this is the same pile right here. So you're going to go along and you're actually going to cut. Oh, let me pull this out all these strips up here. I probably should have showed you one more thing with this. Okay. So in order to cut this, you can cut one strip at a time. If you choose, I don't, I like to actually do multiple layers of fabrics and you decide if you can do two, three, four, however many layers you can cut through, do that, cut through that, those layers. I did five, five and six because that's just easier for me to do. Now I put a new blade in before I start cutting this. And then you won't have any problems and you'll be very happy that you changed your blade. I use a large rotary cutter, that's 60 millimeter, so I can get through all those layers. So I've already cut this, so we're going to pretend that it's already cut up. And this would be, that would have been, oops, right here is all of my, my 16 layers. One of each strip is in there, 16 deep, okay? And the same thing with these. You can get 11 one and a half inch strips out of each half yard piece. Take six of those strips, that's this six here, six of the light and six of the dark piles. You're gonna cut on those first. The other five, you're gonna set aside. So there's five here, five here. I'll put those aside. I'm just gonna start cutting these. I'm not gonna cut every one of them, but I take the first pile and if you follow the directions in the pattern, Right along here, I'm not gonna give you all the measurements because I'm giving away the pattern. It's only a $4 pattern. So they're all one and a half inch strips. The, what you're gonna do, and all of these strips are gonna be cut the same. And because they're on the fold, when you do this quilt, this size, to make it scrappy and it's easier for you because you don't have to think about it. When you cut it and it's pre-cut, it's already done. All the thought is out of it for you. At that point, all you're doing is sewing it together. You're gonna end up with two logs of this fabric in your whole entire quilt that size. 
that's all you're going to have. You'll have this fabric in every size cut, but only two of each one. So you have to make your quilt scrappy. You have no choice. You can't match your fabrics up no matter how hard you try. So what I do is I then again take these little layers apart and then just line them up side by side. Again, however deep you want to cut them. There we go. So here's mine lined up. I'm going to cut the end off, all the salvages, cut those away. Make sure you get the smallest one in there. All right, now I'm ready to cut. So my first cut on my lights would be, I should have started with my darks and I didn't, but that's okay. And the reason being is I actually use more fabric. The quilt uses more dark than it does light. Same amount of fabrics, but the logs in the darker one are the, the longest one is 14 and a half inches and the light one, the longest is 13 and a half inches. And that little inch actually adds up a lot. So we're going to cut the longest light one, which on here is, I believe 13 and a half. Yes. So I'm going to cut all of these 13 and a half inches. There's my 13 and a half right there. I'm left-handed. So this might look a little odd to you. Maybe not be a mirror image if you're watching it on TV. Here we go. Cut that. And then whatever one I can get that is close to this one. And I think it's going to be seven and a half inches. And then I mark as I get them cut. I check mark them that I'm done. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to be able to get a, yep, seven and a half inch out of this. So, okay. Get rid of that. Pile them on top of each other, like so. And I'm going to do this with all six of my strips. Six will give you all the cuts you need. I want to show you this because this is all cut up. It's all cut. Okay. So you can see my smallest cut down here of my lights going to my longest cut, smallest cuts of my, of my darks all the way to the dark or the longest cut of my darks. The first one, this first set of six strips, pretty easy to cut. It's exactly like the pattern tells you to do it pretty much, except for I actually left them on the fold. In this case, I like them on the fold. The pattern actually tells you to open up the strip and you can do that if you choose to. But in this, this is actually easier to cut it this way. So it's another cutting way to do this. Okay. So do that for all six strips. And again, you're going to have multiple cuts. I look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So you got 12, you'll have 12 different links from these. They'll be different a little bit. Some will be the same, but the dark, you're going to have different cuts in your dark than different cuts in your light. Okay. That is done. That'll give you the first 32 blocks of your quilt, but now you need more blocks to finish this quilt and to use up the fabric. So that's what I really want to concentrate is on these guys, the extra five strips. Okay. Because how do I get this, this right here are, this is the original 32 block strips. Okay. What I'm going to show you how to cut are the extra strips because now we have to move things around a little bit. This will get you an additional 25 blocks and use up all your fabric. Here is what's left over from that whole entire kit when we get all of our blocks set up. Not much. Very, very, very little. So with these fabrics, what we want to do is take these leftover strips and you want to make six piles of 12 fabrics. Mix them up. Okay. I don't think real hard on this, but I do need six piles. I only have five here, so I have to get one more pile out of it. So you could just do two. You want them different though. You want different fabrics in that last pile. Well, let's see, there was 16. So if I take four out of this and then somewhere in the middle here, let's see what we got here. Three, four, 
Can you pause that for a second? Is that possible to do that? Hi, we're back. We had to take a small pause there. To save some time, we actually shuffled our fabrics into our, our, excuse me, our piles of 12 fabrics, six different piles. And then we actually pre-cut them during the break there so that I wouldn't have to take the time to cut them. And here they are over here. You cut the exact same way you did your first set of six. You take them apart so you can cut however many you can through there. And then again, you cut the ends off, which I'm not going to do because I've, already, I've actually already cut it. So cut that off. And then again, measure in your 14 and a half inches. And I believe it's either six and a half or seven and a half. Same thing we did in the first part there. Then your leftover pieces from this, because they're How still, many blocks you'll, get? you'll get 24 blocks out of this set here, okay? Because that's 12 deep, and each folded piece of fabric gives you two blocks. So we'll get 24 out of this, and that's sitting here right now. These are my extra 24 on top of what I've cut over there, okay? So here's all my leftover strips after I cut these ones up. Now, you can actually get five more blocks. You just have to be pay attention what you're doing here and open the strips up the long way. So they're 42 inches. Some of them, because you've already cut on these, some will not be 42 inches long. So take the longest ones you have, go ahead and layer them, and start cutting your fabrics. And then you might have, yeah, five deep, if you can do five deep. And I'm gonna do that. I've got three long ones, but then I have some shorter ones here that are still long enough that I can get my 14 and a half inches out of it. So I'm gonna lay that there. And this one. And then, so that's five. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys. I've lined them up pretty good on the end, but just to be sure, I'm going to cut the end off. Okay, 14 and a half inches. And then just keep cutting the fabrics that you need. Now I slide them a little bit so I can tell that that piece has been done, this piece has been done, this piece has been done. I need to get, I now need to get an 11 and a half inch grouping. And this is still long enough I can get 11 and a half inches out of this, so I'm gonna do that. 11 and a half inches. I just keep moving along here. I've got my 10 and a half. I need nine and a half. Is this long enough for nine and a half? I don't know, let's see. Yes, it is. So there's my nine and a half. Okay. Now I need eight and a half. I might have to get other fabrics for this. Get all your little scraps over here so you can, any, any of them, use them all, use them up. This is eight and a half inches. Yeah, is there five there? Yes, okay. My eight and a half. I have seven and a half, six and a half. I need five and a half, four and a half, and three and a half. No problem. Uh, Here's five. Let's see if we can get a five and a half out of this. And you're still going to have other scraps left over. You can figure out if you can get another block out of that yourself. Okay? I, uh, you might be able to. You might be able to get one. But that's really using everything up. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. And then three and a half somewhere. I'll just grab these. And I'm just going to cut a couple of three and a half out of this. Take two of those. There's my three and a half. Okay, so you now have your whole entire quilt cut up. And you have 29 blocks, or 25 extra, 25, what have we got? 29, yep, 29 extra blocks that you can use to make this quilt bigger or make two other little projects or one other project. You can make a bigger throw, whatever you want to do with it. I do have one other thing that I'd like to mention to you. When you're sewing this log cabin quilt together, try to use the same sewing machine that you started with and your quarter inch foot, I'm kind of heavy handed with my quarter inch. So my blocks all come out about an eighth of an inch smaller than they're supposed to. But that's okay because if you're consistent, all of your blocks will come out either smaller or larger, but it's still, it, it's all averaged through there, so you're fine. It should be, you shouldn't have a problem with that. 
just try to use the same machine, same quarter inch foot if you're, when you're sewing this quilt together. Otherwise, your quilt's gonna come out great. Don't worry if it's a little short or a little bigger, it's just fine. Thank you, and I hope this wasn't too long.